Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with an unboxing of AMT's 1966 Ford Mustang hardtop or coupe if you will. So uh, you can build this car stock or custom. There's some uh, diagram of what's inside the box. So let's open it up and see what it's like inside. There's what's inside there, let's get into it. First up, we have the body, chassis, and interior in one bag here. Okay, so first up, we have the body here of the Mustang. This uh, model is a nice, simple build. It's something you could put together a fairly short amount of time, a lot of pieces. Um, but you could spend a lot of time picking off detail and, and do a nice job. There's a lot of nice detail molded in the side here. Uh, the word Mustang and the... Uh, logo with the horse, the 289 V8 logo on the fenders, nice and crisp. Uh, the logo on the back here is also quite quite nice, that's the fuel filler. The door handles are molded in on this model, same with the wiper blades. This is an older kit based off the old promo. This one has been released quite a few times and this was sort of the latest release I think that uh, a, uh, round two has done. Uh, there's another release coming out that I'm looking forward to is the Fastback. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Here's the interior. Um, just like most of the old uh, promos, it does have the convertible style interior tub, the narrower back seat. Uh, you have the center console molded in on the floor here, and all your carpet detail, gas pedal, brake clutch, and some. Uh, flash and stuff that would have to be taken out of the floor there but just a nice simple kit one piece interior tub just put all your seats in all your molding on the side has good detail here's the chassis it's a one piece everything's molded in the differential the exhaust system so basically you just build an engine put it in here and put your wheels on but again you can paint this up make it look good and then there's the other side, ton of extra tires. So let's get into this and see what you get here. You get 10 tires in this model, which is just wonderful. I love extra parts. So you get a, a set of these uh, Race Master. They're nice, soft, uh, slick. You can sand that. And they turn out just beautiful with that nice pad printing on the side. You get, of course, a set of those. Next up, you get my favorite little tires for front of a, a, a gasser build nice narrow tires here very stock looking for the Mustang if you're doing the stock build here these are a Firestone now here you get kind of a uh, you get bigs and littles here these are pad printed but you get the wider tire for the rear if you want and then a, a set of those with the Goodyear pad printing and then you also get the Goodyear Polyglass pad printing, whoops, on oh, the smaller tire. But if you look, there's a little bit of a difference. A little bit narrower, a little bit shorter. So they're just a little bit different. So you can have offset tires on the car. So there's lots of options in how you want to build this model. Here's uh, the just the steel axles that hold the wheels on. Okay, so we have the engine here which is a 289 manual transmission so this would probably be a k-code car you have your exhaust manifolds a couple of carburetors valve cover cylinder heads timing cover assembly then there's a set of zoomy style headers if you wanted to go drag racing here got an oil pan a cross ram style uh, intake manifold for two carburetors, a single four, uh, some radiator detail there, battery and a radiator hose, and looks like a starter motor, and another radiator hose way up top here on that tree. There's one side, there's the other. Here we have a uh, tire sort of cover, um, probably no use for this anywhere on the model. If this was a fastback, you may use that. Uh, in where the back seat is there. You got the four wheel backs that hold the wheels on. 
got a sort of a below the front bumper spoiler there a couple other little wings uh, hood scoop parachute and kind of detail some sort of oh these are like headlight uh, fill-in panels and a blower uh, belt there so that's sort of a lot of aftermarket pieces other than your your wheel backs there's the other side firewall and of course the master cylinders uh, molded in on this here we have a panel for the front or yeah for the front with the markers in it radiator support and some seat belt detail if you want to go racing I think this is the aftermarket one and front if you wanted to change it up this tree we have some racing buckets here seat belts are molded in on those we have a set of wheelie bars and some roll cage detail if you like then we have the hood the hood has the word Ford Hold it on there. These are a couple what I would think were plastic axles um, instead of using metal ones. And then there's wheel backs here that are deep for the racing slicks. Okay. Have a couple of the original buckets, low backs for the um, for the front. One piece. Everything's molded in. We talk about convertible. Here's that convertible uh, top. If you wanted to cut the top on this car and turn it into a convertible, I think this is the only release I've seen with this piece on it. Uh, I don't remember on the earlier ones, but anyway, that's kind of neat. You got the steering wheel here, the triple spoke Mustang wheel, and then this dashboard. They did a beautiful job molding these dashboards back in the day. Uh, all the gauges are, are molded right in, all the buttons. Usually they're done in a loaded form with all your air conditioning and things like that. So here's your front and rear stock valence. So that other one that I showed you was not, not the one I was thinking it was. It has your markers built in and everything like that and they uh, fit in with the tabs underneath there or you can move them into the body all right so here we have uh, a stock set of the hubcaps that would come on a Mustang on the grill with the horse in the middle a bumper front one here's a rear bumper then these are to look like uh, Mustang Shelby GT wheels on a later Mustang. On the back side, if you notice, two are really thick and then two are skinny. So that's those there. We have an air cleaner, another bumper, looks like without bumperettes. Have some uh, aftermarket headlights for the front if you wanted to go like rectangular lights a set of Cobra valve covers here's some tail light trim headlights that push in and then these are nice they're little horse license plates if you can see that there with the Mustang horse on it uh, AMT logo here which is really neat set of uh, dual air cleaners for that cross ram car, uh, carb setup uh, fan distributor set of sport mirrors shifter what else on here looks like maybe that's the alternator so anyway there's your chrome tree there there's the back side of it all right here's the uh, windows for the car again this is sort of molded in one one piece I wish they didn't put this split in here but uh, they do that so that you can't pass it off as a as an older one um, yeah, so there's the there's the windows, and then of course you have the aftermarket square st sort of headlights if you want to put those in. Other than that, that's all there is for that tree there. And of course you have the tail lights, and they're already molded in a red color. They go in behind those chrome rings you saw earlier, the covers, and then they go on the car. 
in the box. This was a 2014 release. Uh, there's all kinds of the other models that they released back in 2014 in a little brochure, which is very cool. <clears throat> this is, they have the, it's a miniature model box. You can cut it out, fold it up, and it's uh, basically, a, I would say, about a quarter scale model box of the model that you just have here, or keep it flat. And you can see all the beautiful box art, which is really nice to have. On this model, you basically just get some, what would almost be like a Shelby stripe in different colors or with flames. Also, uh, horse head flames you want to put on the hood or the side of the car. There's some uh, license plate detail and then some racing decals and of course the AMT logo, which are my favorite. Those are cool there. Put the engine in, it's a one sheet. It's pretty much everything on putting the car together in one page. It's two-sided. So, like I said, nice fun kit. Uh, this is another one that may end up uh, being a contender for 24-hour build this year. We'll see how it goes. One of the things I want to bring up is Round 2 is releasing this in a fastback. If you've seen my channel before, or if you're interested, you can go back and look at. Uh, this is a 60 five Mustang that I'm building as a fastback. AMT did not have this out as a fastback for a very long time. I think back in the promo days. You can still see a faint line. I have some body work yet to do. This has no filler in it. Uh, I put in stock quarter panels and I didn't have, I used a, a newer sort of a 68 style chassis with an interior tub. And so this I'm building a Shelby Mustang fastback. What's nice is uh, AMT is now releasing this car as a fastback. If you want to go back and see, there's two videos on that Mustang already that goes into in-depth detail on how I built that. The resin version of the uh, fastback that will most likely be how it'll be released. Uh, the pictures I've seen, I don't think it has this trim on the bottom or this chrome feature here but basically that's how you would get that model that's coming out in uh, uh, coming out early this this 2023 so keep your eye out for that they also upgraded the headlights so they have clear lenses somebody actually when I bought this they were thinking about turning this into a race car so it's kind of funny I turned the race car back into a stock body and somebody was thinking about turning this into a race car anyway that's just pencil line that'll come off. Just thought I would share that with you. Okay, so there you have it. There's the unboxing 1966 Ford Mustang hardtop by AMT. So if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. As always, share and comment, as I always love reading the comments. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.